what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. For the first time in a while, we are vlogging from the Jeep, or at least a vlog starting out in the Jeep. Um, so today's video, we are currently heading over to the shop because the Jeep tends to get some really bad death wobble. And the other day I was on my way home and it got death wobble so bad that I think it destroyed this U-joint in the front more than it was destroyed before because now I have the same U-joint vibration that I did in the past. And I just passed the cop, I hope he doesn't come out. So the Jeep's got death wobble and vibration, a really bad vibration that we're going to fix today. But other than that, in this video we're going to talk about why you should upgrade your axles or upgrade your gear ratio inside of your axles. Because as you know, recently we did that to my Jeep, it went from 307 gears to 355 gears. And if you did not know, my Cherokee is a five speed, currently sitting on 33 inch tires. And let me tell you from the very beginning of this, like right away you know, I noticed that these shorter gear ratios, even though they're not that much shorter than they were before, you can definitely feel the difference in them and they are absolutely amazing. It is hands down one of the best mods I've ever done to the Jeep. And also the rear is welded, so I've done a couple burnouts. I don't want to break it. gas 
mileage out. I never pay, I stopped paying attention once I realized how off the Speedo was on the stock axles. And I haven't tested it to see how right, I haven't tested it since I put these 355 axles in to see what the gas mileage is right around. Now the big, big difference going down the highway 
with four tens or maybe 373s or anything shorter than that. It definitely helped the Jeep out a lot. Um, I would not go back to anything longer than a 355. But yeah, if you guys were thinking about it, go ahead and do it. I picked these axles up in a, in a five. Oh, that's wild. And a five and a half inch lift without shocks. The lift didn't have shocks, but I picked these axles up and the lift for $350. And then I sold the stock rear axle for a buck 40, I believe the guy gave me. And I sold the um, I sold the coils and the leaf springs for 200 bucks or 220 bucks, something like that. So I made my money back on this deal. You are not getting in front of me. Oh my God. But yeah, I made probably like $10, $20 off this deal. Now the lift did come with short arms. If I wanted to, I could sell them and profit a big amount on buying axles. I don't know. It depends on your vehicle, I guess. Depends on your area and what things are priced at. But if you have an XJ and it's on 307 gears, I would suggest upgrading to a 355 would be my suggestion if you daily drive your vehicle. Like I said, I daily drive mine. So I don't need, I wouldn't want to go anything shorter than the 355s. The 355s work great for me for my, for our 33 inch tires being a daily driver. But I have not gone off road yet since installing these axles. So I don't know how much better they are going to be off road. So I'm only speaking solely from uh, a daily drive perspective. We are arriving at the shop. I think I've said anything, everything I wanted to say about these axles. So guys, I'm home. I got to the shop, put the Jeep on the lift, got the front tires off, and forgot to grab the GoPro out of the glove box, and the glove box was locked on top of that. So I didn't film while we were at the shop, but we got the tie rod swapped, and ultimately enough, that solved the death wobble problem. And the vibration was actually not the front uh, U-joint. It was actually the rear U-joint on the input shaft was falling out for some reason, even though we just replaced it. But we popped it into place and made sure it was popped into place accurately this time. And now that's all good. So the Jeep's good now. We just need to straighten out the steering wheel next time. But this video is not what I wanted it to be. But oh well, nothing ever goes to plan in life. But that's going to do it. For this video guys, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. If you got any questions, concerns, or anything to say, comment it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you didn't, hit the thumbs up button. And also really quick, we passed 600 subscribers like two days ago. So thank you guys for that. But I will see you guys next week. Have a good week till then, and peace out.